Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cher. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you today. Um, and if you want to stick around to the end of this video, I will also share with you a few things that I picked up at my favorite scattered goods store. It's just a little local store that I love to pop into from time to time. Uh, those of you subscribers that have been following me for a while know that I always seem to find some kind of cool things there. So like I said, stick around to the end if you want to see what I got from that store. So I'm just going to jump in and show you what I got today from Dollar Tree. Uh, a couple days ago I had hopped in there and they were just starting to kind of get some of their Christmas stuff. They have the whole back wall empty and they had a few Christmas things kind of on it. And so I wanted to kind of go back today because I wanted to see how much progress they had made getting the rest of their Christmas stuff out. Uh, which I'd say they're about halfway done. They still have lots of things that they need to put out. There's boxes everywhere. And of course there's lots of wish list items that I had that I still didn't find but I did get a few things so I'll show you that in a minute. The other thing I really wanted to go back for today were these Wortman pumpkin spice cookies. Oh my gosh I grabbed one of these a couple days ago and I only got one because sometimes with pumpkin spice it's hit and miss right you never know if it's going to taste good or not. So oh my god we've already pretty much polished off the first package of these that I brought home. Everyone loves them in our house so I didn't buy just one today. I didn't buy just two. I bought three. These are definitely worth it. They are very yummy. They work. They are like so good with a cup of tea or coffee or whatever. Um, and I also grabbed one of their apple crisps. I thought I'd give those ones a try. I would assume that these will be pretty good and pretty tasty as well. Then the next thing I grabbed that I was, I've been eyeing these up for a while. I finally broke down and I bought two of the orange uh, glass bottles. I have those really cool little light cork lights that I put in here and they're beautiful and I have every color of these now. I've got two clear, I have two red, I have two blue. The only ones I really didn't have were the orange and yeah so I just you know for fall and I mean we have an orange couch and you know leather couch up in our living room here and our cupboards are kind of that orange color too so it was just a no-brainer. I had to eventually I had to cave and get the bottles so I did finally get the bottles. I was so excited. So the next thing I grabbed I needed some more sunlight dishwashing liquid nothing too exciting there so grab one of those I also picked up I was down where all the nails and things were they had these new wet and wild mega rocks glitter nail colors so I just thought that was so pretty it's kind of a purpley pink and then I got this other one kind of a purpley blue thought those would be kind of fun to play around with Megan and I can do our nails on our toes Speaking of nails, oh my goodness, I haven't bought any nails for a while and I haven't been putting them on either, which is, I just, I have so many, I really need to start using these things. But I thought these were just, you know, nice and plain and really pretty. And then I got this one here too. I really like this one. I find that I always need to file the end down because they're just too long for me. So I try to find things that, that you know, with a pattern or whatever, that's not make, it's not going to make a big deal if I file them down. It's not going to be really obvious. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed a couple of these nail art 3D bows. They had these. I thought these would be great for little embellishments on things. Or I guess you could also use them for your nails. So I grabbed two of those. Oh, where am I going to go now? Um, Halloween stuff, I guess. Uh, I grabbed a pack of these treat bags. There's 15 in here. I just really like the house. I plan on cutting this out and doing some things with that. And maybe the bats too. <laughs> Or also maybe using them for Halloween bags. <laughs> I thought these cute little googly eyes were kind of cool so I grabbed a bag of those. I had seen people uh, hauling these little glitter markers. Uh, Tammy from My World in OKC had actually pulled them out of the package and um, showed how they work and she it looked like they work pretty good so thanks Tammy for showing those. I thought I would pick up a set for myself as well. Now, the little bit of Christmas that I did find, I'm just going to share with you. I did, I was really on the hunt for these little snowmen. I think they are so adorable. So I grabbed two of the Joy. And you have to be really careful when you're picking these things out because some of the noses were falling off, I noticed. Some of the burlap was, well, these aren't perfect either, but some of them burlap was hanging off them. Like they weren't put on here straight and stuff like that. So be careful and really kind of you know look through what you're getting make sure make sure everything's on there really well and then I got two of the piece they're so cute I just love them I grabbed two of the little mittens again same thing with these I had to really go through a lot before I found a couple that were in decent shape some of them like the they just weren't put together very well the stuffing like was falling out 
some of them didn't have any pine cones on it. Like you really have to sort through, weed through them. Anyway, so I got a couple that look pretty decent. I found this cute little glittery, kind of a bronzy deer. I thought that would look really cute on a burlap wreath. I think that'll look really good against the light color of the burlap. And I grabbed one of these cute little hats. I really wanted the black top hat because I wanted it for one of my little sock snowmen that Megan and I make. And we are going to do a tutorial on that, but we'll wait till it gets a little closer to Christmas before we do that. So again, the black top hats, they were very sloppily put together. Um, they weren't even the ones that in my store anyway, the, the top hat part wasn't even put on the base here. So it wasn't centered. They had like oversprayed all the snow. It was all smeared all over the hats. Like it was just, they were terrible. So I never did find one that was decent. And so I just grabbed this little plaid one because this was the best one that I could find, the nicest one that was in pretty good shape. It was actually put in the middle of the base. And so I grabbed this one. I also picked up just one of these. I thought this would be really cute to maybe hang inside one of my wreaths. So, you know, when you have it on your door, you'll hear the little bell jingle. I thought that that was really cute with the burlap and the little pine cones. I love their little sleighs. So I grabbed this one in the red and then I grabbed this one more in the neutral color. I thought that was really cute. These, I thought these would be really pretty, you know, just kind of cut them off and stick them in, in a, uh, in a uh, an arrangement or in a wreath or whatever so I got the gold and the red and then I found these pretty little bows you get three in a pack here I thought those were really cute if I don't end up using a lot of this stuff on a wreath or anything then I'll just throw it on my Christmas tree and this I really liked like how pretty is that like I'm not the best at making bows <laughs> sometimes so I thought this would be a super easy way. You can just clip it right on so you can take it on and off a uh, wreath really easily. And yeah, I just thought it was really, really pretty. And they had these in different colors as well, silver and gold, I believe, and then this red one, but I really like the red. And then the last thing I grabbed, I just thought these were kind of cool too. Like they look like little trees. And I even thought that I could use these in my fairy gardens, stick them into the, you know, the ground or the soil. And I thought these would be really, really cute. So that's what I kind of think I might use those for. I grabbed this cute little Halloween kitty, um, the little baby guy. I actually have the mama to this one I bought last last Halloween. So now I have the mama and the little baby. They're so cute. And I picked up a package of these princess stickers. These are the only stickers I bought today. I was very good. I held back. Um, I have someone very special in mind, a little person that I think uh, I'm going to make a pocket letter for. I know I have some other people in front of her that I need to get to take care of first. Um, but I have someone very special in mind for this. And then I also picked up a page of this scrapbook paper. I thought it would be perfect to go with that. And then on the back, this is what it looks like. So I can kind of mix and match the pockets with these two, two patterns. I thought that'll look really cute with the princess stickers. So excited to do that, but it'll be a little bit before I get to that. So I believe that's it for Dollar Tree today. So now I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna show you what I found at Scattered Goods. They're kind of still getting a lot of new um, products and things out there as well, but uh, I kind of went and, with one thing in mind. I needed to get some spray paint for a couple of projects, and so their spray paint was actually very reasonable. I only paid $2.99 for these two cans each. They were $2.99 each. So, I mean, I've, got, I've looked at Home Depot and I've looked at a few places, like spray paint is so expensive. I wish Dollar Tree would sell spray paint. It would be so much easier and make our DIYs that much cheaper. So anyway, so I just got this uh, black mat and then this white one. And then I also grabbed a couple weeks ago when I was there, they had these, they're just these little wooden plain little signs. These were only $1.50. Um, I did grab one. I grabbed the welcome one last week, I think too. And I'm just going to paint them and then I'm going to add these to a wreath or wherever. And I just thought that was so cool. They had one that said home and what was the other one? There was three. I can't remember. But anyway, I wanted another welcome one. So I grabbed that one. So I plan on making a deco mash wreath and I had seen other people using these little rotary cutters to cut the deco mesh because it supposedly makes your life a whole lot easier. Now this was just a cheap one. This only cost me like a couple bucks. So I have no idea what kind of a job it's going to do, but I'm going to try it out and see how it works. I mean, if it saves me a little bit of hassle and headache, um, I think it'll be well worth the $2. So otherwise, I guess I'll just be doing it the old fashioned way with a pair of scissors. So Scattered Goods has amazing cards and I needed a couple of cards. Uh, they have it like on this little rotating 
display case and they have birthday and you know anniversary the usual cards anyway I needed a wedding card because my nephew's getting married next month um, this is my nephew that came and stayed with us uh, back in July and he proposed to his fiance while they were here visiting with us and um, yeah they're getting married next month in Alberta unfortunately I won't be able to go to the wedding but um, I found this beautiful card they all all of these cards are like home like they look like homemade cards they're 3d they've got all these really just awesome embellishments I just thought that was beautiful and they come like pre-packaged in the plastic and everything these are a dollar twenty nine like I you can't go wrong with a beautiful card like that whenever I need nice cards that's where I go that's my go-to place and then my sister's uh, her birthday is next month so I found her this really pretty card as well like look at the detail on there like <laughs> crazy so anyway yeah they had some beautiful cards it was hard to decide and that's basically it for my little uh, haul here today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're having beautiful sunshine, blue skies like we are today. It's supposed to be, I think, 26 today. We're having like kind of a, the last little bit of summer, like hurrah. And uh, I know my friends in Ontario, I, know, I hear you guys are having awesome weather too. It's kind of the summer that you guys never had. So I'm hoping you're all out there enjoying some sunshine and some heat. <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts, right? So anyways, I hope everyone's having a great day and until next time, we'll see you again. Bye for now.